students and friends in this colloquial room and online this morning. Okay, thank you for spending your time to join today's colloquium organized by the Department of Mathematical Science, UKM. Today, we are lucky to invite Associate Professor Dr. Fatima Abdul Raza as a presenter, and I would like to take this opportunity to introduce Dr. Fatima's background. Raised in Gombak, Selangor, Dr. Fatima obtained Bachelor of Science in Mathematical Science and Master of Science in Computational and Theoretical Science from International Islamic University, Malaysia, IIUM. Master of Advanced Science in Mathematics from University of Cambridge and PhD in Mathematics from Imperial College London. Dr. Fatima has experience in working as an assistant researcher and she is leading a research team that specializes in complex network and topological data analysis and also a manager at the Center for Modeling and Data Analysis UKM. From 2007, Dr. Fatima has been working as a senior lecturer in the Department of Mathematical Science, UKM. She was the recipient, recipient of Young Scientist Network Academy of Science Malaysia since 2022. Among her research, her key research area include fundamental of complex system, complex system of finance and economy, and also social network. Today, Dr. Fatima will be presenting an interesting topic entitled Complex Network from Virus to Movie. Hence, I would like to invite Dr. Fatima forward. Okay, please be invited. Thank you, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, in person, online. So, I will be talking this complex network. So, obviously, I am an associate professor in network science and complex systems. So, complex network is the recommendation of so specialization of Okay, so uh, it comes to many different domains. So in mathematics, uh, this object is called a graph. However, in order to avoid confusion with the graph that you see in school, X Y graph, I will use the uh, network, which is more convenient for applied. So, however, even we don't use the word graph as much as network, it is amplifiers. The notation to you know, object is called G. G, B, G representing graph, B representing vectors, uh, and G representing the of science, which is the standing. And I will like to be able to cite the phone. Actually, I have it here. So, my research is an even XYZ, which is on site and bonds. Uh, and sociology uh, talks about factors and size. So, when you talk about school, uh, you, you can give an example of case. So, every kid will go and see this. I was told that um, young people don't use Facebook anymore. So, thank you, not so very young people on Facebook. I enjoy my <laughs> category, but if there's young people, so thank you for joining. Okay. Uh, so, if you know how friendships work, you have the and then you have to accept friendship links from other people, right? So, you as a user, you're the node, you're the biceps, and the links are the friendship, uh, the edges or the link, okay? So, I think everyone has to do that. And even Martin Zuckerberg was talking about social graphs, he called in his uh, speech about how Facebook can easily manipulate anyone to believe. Things in their own cluster because people are separated by clusters on Facebook and you see usually all the way your friends. So it's very, very okay. Uh, also, example of the network effect that I think everyone understands is this during our recent presentation. It is draw, uh, drawn by social workers to uh, here. Uh, I think she posted it on her Twitter. Uh, she said, okay, this is how we understand why the work, what we don't apply while we stay home. You want to prevent the network effect. Why Facebook is so powerful even today? Because it has grown exponentially. It has your friends. So uh, for me, even though I'm not very active on Facebook, but I still have it. And I use it from time to time to connect with my friends. And that's the power of the network that Facebook and also this coronavirus has. Uh, it can spread. So, so the main question um, amongst all this, there must be some super spreader people. 
So the main material I was thinking when I couldn't go anywhere at home, who is the super spreader in our case, right? So here, this is a map because at that time I was doing my industry attachment at Maybank. I couldn't go to Maybank, but I was teaching them about network. Uh, I'll talk about more about it later. Okay. So, uh, for example, say we have this network connection. This is just for Ramana, the chief uh, human character office at Maybank. And then it's me, really my very good also. So these are four other lecturers who are poor fellows at Maybank. So, if you ask the question, who is the spreader in this network, this is network, right? You know that the super spreader, I think we all know who is the super spreader here. The flora here, yeah. okay? Okay. If she's infected, everybody will be infected. And if we vaccine her or take her out, quarantine her, everybody else will be safe except for me, actually, yeah. one of the other, right? Okay. So then, this is a super network. You look at a bigger network. Uh, so if you look at a bigger network, okay, so maybe, uh, so we have two measures. There are two measures that I will talk about in this presentation on network. Degree and degree centrality. Degree is very easy, you just calculate the edge. Okay, so for example, I have what is my degree? Two degrees. Because so I have two edges jutting out for me, and then Dr. Nora has degree five. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, degree very simple. Between the centrality, the plus the present that uh, I use, you need to compare with the degree. Um, between the centrality is how you are connected to this network, and how much in between other people you are. Okay, so if you have a network like this, the highest degree J here, right? So J, how many? Let's count. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, degree seven. So if you uh, if you were contact trace, you will list down, okay, seven. Contact tracing and I touch the state. Okay, and then, uh, however, this guy, H, even though he only has five uh, contact, but because he's the connector between two clusters, and I think everybody is very familiar with this right now, right? These are two clusters here, two groups. And if we take up this guy in H, this cluster will be same for this cluster, and this cluster will be same for this cluster. H and R. So between the centralities, it's different methods. Even though this person doesn't have many contacts, but if their context is diverse, which can be measured by this between the centrality, uh, need the super treasure. So this is the center tenet of quite a few much you want papers actually. Uh, very simple idea. Okay. Right. These are the other centralities. Close centralities, we have the highest close centrality. Very easy to measure. I won't explain in this here, but since you know he has the closest distance to everybody else. The distance is measured by how many steps get offered to the other. So F from M is two. Okay. This one is the inversion of this step, so he has to be to the variance. This one, I will recommend this is generalization of the three centers. Actually, this is very important, and this is underlying the picture algorithm of this step. It helps you when the output, when you search, you must have kata I, kata and in fact, you can learn this item of this centrality to sort which one is the most important, and I would argue that it made Google more famous because I was alive at the time that Google wasn't famous. It's just that they got just so much better than Yahoo or uh, Microsoft Altavista that existed at the time. I know, young ones laughing, but there was a time when Google didn't dominate the world. It dominated the world because as kids under them got better. Okay? So, so that's the idea. Okay? So there are many different centralities, there are many different measures, but what I am going to talk about is that which doesn't necessarily need a network to be counted. You can just count the links, right? You can just count your friends on Facebook, but between centrality needs a network because it needs information from the whole network. Okay, next. Uh, so, okay, don't, don't run away. Yeah, this is just the mathematical definition. You already know this. V represents the ground, P is the vertex, and is the edges. And then it's just say if they protect each other, it's called continuous percent. Okay, so next, between the centrality. So, this is shortest path. Shortest path here is simply you count how many people you have to go through to get to each other. So this person, Xi, between the centrality as Xi, is the person that are in the most shortest path of other people. Okay, so in this figure, H, uh, 
most people for um, well for people from two classes to connect each other have to go to him or her, right? So he will be on the most shortest path of uh, connection between those people. Okay? So that's why H has to be high. Okay? Conceptually, it's very simple, but to calculate it's not easy because we need to calculate the shortest path of each every node in the network and then uh, figure out whether that node is in that shortest path or not. Okay? So, uh, so, okay, then I I know things about network and then Right. How in the world they came up this one? Right? Mm -hmm. My question. Uh, this flattening. How do they know that it will be flattened like this? Right? Uh, how do they know that uh, if certain managers will delay the infection? If they have an access to a multiverse where they can see what happens if everybody dies or everybody goes into uh, um, goes into uh, hibernation. So uh, what I tried to find out is um, I found that this paper from uh, Imperial College, no, that was um, because it's my alma mater, so I was quite intrigued. Uh, so, Imperial here is a uh, paper by uh, Neil Ferguson at Imperial College. They have a Abdul Salam Center for Disease Spread or something. Okay. So, uh, before this, Boris, uh, then Prime Minister, uh, said that uh, there is no candidate. Get through it, right? But yeah, they are don't have to do anything. But this paper is highly people accuse this paper of being responsible of changing Boris's mind. The UK Prime Minister back then. Yeah. Okay. So this is the red line. He said, okay, nothing. This will happen. Okay. And then uh, this one do is uh, home quarantine, social distancing, safety, and whatever. Yeah, I do nothing, nothing will happen. Search to take care of cat, straight line, case isolation, closing school, and will happen. And uh, this is this line. So, from this, everybody was quite scared what would happen. Uh, given their mind, this is the method that the new progress use. However, he is uh, a typo in like, this field. He already models some uh, infectious disease in Thailand, of course, in the UK and Europe. So, he has many uh, experiences and data set. Uh, so, uh, so people believe him, uh, and the UK put some measures up, and the rest of the world. And so, this one, I would say, this one and others are we call the cartoon. You can call this like a cartoon of this, right? Uh, well, this is an actual imperial papers published in March twenty, and this is like a cartoon from the start and all the other. This is uh, trying to make people understand why they don't have to go out. Why they shouldn't go out and they should stay home. Okay, so that's um, what I'm thinking during COVID. So I have, uh, okay, so usually people uh, model, it's a very famous model, is SIR model, SI, uh, susceptible infection. So it's recovered model. Uh, you use a PDE, uh, no, PDE to model it or generate different equations, but uh, what I want to uh, here in the normal, very normal, it's in the as people find those artificial way that infection, but everybody the same, the same infection and the same recovery rate for everyone. Okay, so that's the basic SIR model that uh, people usually do. Of course, new condition and everything, yeah, everyone they have more extensive data, and maybe they use this model to a certain extent, but probably not. I am thinking, no, not in, in real life, everybody's mixed together and they have a different uh, rate of infection based on their contact network, right? It's not, everybody's not homogeneous, so that's hence my title of all my paper, heterogeneity. Homogeneous too, meaning everybody's same heterogeneity is, uh, everybody's uh, is heterogeneous, has an individual medicine and number friends. Okay, so contact network is my square. So I didn't have much data, but um, it so happened at the time, uh, I had some student data for this um, explanation of how contact tracing and super spreader and clustering make sense with the network explanation, right? So we can say that the super spreader has a high degree or high between centrality using uh, network measures, okay? Uh, 
so it so happens that I had data for my students that wasn't collected for COVID purposes. <laughs> it was collected, say, you ask me this question, uh, who is your friend? Okay, list your friend according to the level of friendship, uh, number one, closest, number two, most, number three, ten friends. Okay, so, uh, so this class, for your students, uh, quite close up because everybody's connected, right? Uh, and so I model the spread on the friendship network. And if you're friends with another person, so you have a probability of infecting this person, basically. Okay? So even though I didn't have contact network, I used the friendship network that I obtained from the class pre COVID uh, to model the Dauzubinda spread on my student and suggest uh, that this is uh, the opening strategies for coping uh, with uh, bringing back the student to the class because this is a whole class here. Lah. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the second paper is uh, it's um, modeling the same, but I use the weight now. So there's something called the weighted network, uh, which you put the weight on the edges. So for example, if me and Hamiza are the closest friends, so my weight with her is 10. And then me and Sabri, second closer, my weight with him is 9. So the higher the weight, the closer you are, and the higher the probability of being infected because you're close, right? Uh, so here I just did a general simulation on network, and then I did uh, simulation on weighted networks, right? So weighted networks is a different probability, and the accuracy is higher lah, because you know who is closer to you. Okay, so, and then I said, okay, uh, there was a strategy that I thought, uh, told you just now, you take that Nora out of it, and then everybody will be safe, right? So here, what I did was, I just said, okay, let's monitor by degree. You have all these 140 students, so you take the degree, uh, the highest degree, so you monitor 1%. Okay, so this is the highest line, is when you monitor, you don't monitor anyone. Okay, the second, uh, the hitam, the black one, you monitor 1%, meaning 1% out of 148 is like two people. You monitor these two people with the highest degree, meaning they, they have high, uh, most friends, and you just monitor. Monitor here, I mean, test every day. Lah. Ada COVID, ada COVID, ada COVID, ada COVID. Uh, kalau ada COVID, you take them out the network to save everybody else. Okay? So, uh, you monitor 1%, the peak increases, and, and then you monitor 2%, which is some more, and then you monitor 12%. Uh, the topic is similar with the time also you need. So you get to flatten the curve if you monitor this just high intensity student and take them out of the network, given that interaction are just different interaction. Lah, of course. Okay. So next, that is when you monitor by degree. Next, when you monitor by between the centrality, these are the connectors, not necessarily people that have high degree. When you monitor by between the centrality, so when you monitor one percent, that's good. And then when you monitor 20 percent, don't flat out and this only peak because that's what I did in my coding. It has to peak at this at time one. Otherwise, you probably just disappear, right? Okay, so uh, from this, uh, I say that given this network, uh, the super spreaders are the between the center. In this paper, uh, the one with uh, Paul here, I also try to see and um, close the centrality. And I also use another technique. Uh, called the friendship paradox, in which you don't even have to get the network, but you have a way to find the highest strength. Okay, in the first thing. Okay. So, uh, you're going to see. Okay. All right. So, this was uh, what I did during COVID. Uh, and then I did a video just telling you the same thing uh, about the difference between degree and between sentence. So, this video will now go to creativity because. I already had experience doing this two video, which I submit to my favorite YouTube channel. It's why I submit to Shibu One Ground, and it's why I submit to this year. Okay. Uh, so, and also, I have another graph by the way, by the way. Okay, so, so I'm going to post the guide here. Explaining mathematics, uh, I was so happy because number two and number three were literature people and fiction people, so mathematics won. And then, so, that was what I did, and this is like the poster. Prepared by Miss Muda and I think her also for the video. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to sum up the little thing. Okay, the science and paper report. Okay, so one. Okay, to sum up. 
right? Um, I guess it resonated with everyone because the concept is very easy to grasp. Uh, okay, so that's the network of the school here that I was analyzing. So which one uh, is the best one? This is this is the same network, but here uh, the squares are the guys and the circle are the girls. And then the colors are different, which is the wrong figures, which is which. No need for me to explain. So my initial intention was to try to analyze this to see how. Uh, students interact across gender and ethnicity and within different programs, right? So this is uh, handled by uh, different variables on the notes. Okay. So uh, I think for a diagram, a diagram or directed graph or directed network. Uh, previously, you had vertex, you had edges. Now you have directed edges, so you have an arrow. So now, if uh, me and Lisa were friends, I have an arrow pointed to her. If I list her down in my friend list, okay, the friend list is not completely reciprocal. Some people get listed, some people don't get listed by the other friend. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, one of my final year students did a uh, <laughs> topic on that reciprocity of this. Okay, so when you have that figure out, so uh, this is uh, the author, they are, she now. <laughs> Uh, at Maybank, ironically, I met her when I was doing my uh, six months uh, six months uh, at uh, Maybank. So she collected all this data. So we found so this is the same student, the French network, but the links are different. So we had two questions. The first question was who is your friend. The second question is who do you refer to in your class? Who is who is your peer tutor in the class? Right. So it's different question, same notes, different question. Okay, so, uh, okay, so the mark, actually the hardest mark is 54 and 154 in pink, but 49 means uh, he or she is referred to the most in the class, uh, but merit do. So the mark is in high level. Okay, uh, so, this is our okay. Might be a problem is uh, the referred to person does not give the correct information, then the whole class might get the wrong information from the very person to see. And look at the bigger notes, uh, the big notes, uh, the bigger the notes is referred to how, referred to the individual, how many arrows are pointing to them, indicating how many people, how many other people refer to them as the tutor, right? So the bigger they are, the more tutoring they are, <laughs> the more mastery they are in the class. But I don't know about the marks. The class doesn't look so masterful. Is the number is related to marks or no, the ID? No, I just the ID, yes. 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 Uh, for, in order to tell the story and preserve the secrecy of the student. Okay, uh, so I did you go? Yeah. Don't talk to anyone. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you didn't know this. Number one, doesn't talk to anyone. This one, which I don't want to do. Okay. So what did you do? Eight? In the French network, everybody connected, okay? In the French network, everyone connected. But it's one of the this one pair over here, okay? Okay, so this is the reality. All the mothers have their own notes. But we did, we did check everyone, and then if he answered for one, why well, can't he answer for the other one? Who knows, right? Because it's the same question there. Asking about the brain and the okay? Right. So, yeah. so you fail, the fail one, the right one, the fail one, they refer to the one who oh, the one. So the one uh, usually on the side side. So this one, so and this person we suggest maybe you can target the forty nine, get his or her knowledge to be correct, so that he, the influencer, can influence correctly. <laughs> he or she, I'm not sure. I, I don't remember myself. Okay, and also maybe uh, we empower this for one of these people to teach more. Uh, maybe they, they're shy or they don't have uh, good teaching skills. Okay, but this is just the place of we go deeper and the more analysis. Okay, <laughs> right. So next is uh, more of a simple group, uh, Damira Uso and uh, Zahira, who's my PhD student. Uh, actually, this student is a subset of the previous student. 
Itu semua dalam top set, but they were older, so the class already separated. Okay, so uh, we haven't analyzed how their friends change over the few years, but that's coming, inshallah. But in this paper, which we published, comparing friends and peer sister and this COVID-19, we asked the same student that we asked physically, we asked them during COVID, but they were already in separate class. So it's a subset. Sikit je lah, tak, tak seramai orang yang punya, so support je lah. Okay, uh, and again, ask the same question about friends and peer tutors. So there's a friendship network, who are your friends and peer tutoring, who do you refer to in the class? Okay, two separate questions. And we analyze the difference. So, so we have the weighted EP. So again, the weighted is put the weight depending on the degree of friendship or the importance of the peer tutor. Like who do you refer to first, who do you refer to second, right? And then it's the in degree. So the size is by in degree. So here we see that uh, it's number 21. Oh, so this is the mark. The darker the weight, the higher the mark. The lighter, the lower the marks. So we see the light, eh? 21. Uh, so the trend is quite similar. But there's um, but see, you can see the same difference. Uh, so this 20 was already popular lah, as spread. There's probably a popular girl or guy lah. Right? It's already a spread in school or girl. 21 is still, it's still the case. But 17, 27 marks, so it's darker, you see that. Then 54 was the highest mark, so it's bigger. So it's bigger. bigger in the peer tutoring level. Meaning they refer to more uh, when it comes to the academic subjects, uh, which is good luck. Good way. Okay, that's one level. Okay, now we look at the opinion of the level. Compare you. So, uh, and then we thought the rate is T versus French rate in peer tutor versus French here. So we can just identify the students that actually teach more than their friends. Okay, so these students, me, Kawani, so if they teach only their friends, makes sense, right? But if the students is outlining here on top, these students teach more than just friends. Okay, 21 is the popular person just now. He's popular in your friendship, also popular in the center. So, from uh, he is just a uh, he or she is a friend. But here we see that number six and number six number four is uh, they teach way more than just their friends. So here we can identify, okay, these are the people that are influencers in this class. And we can see if they have good marks, then you encourage them to find more. Lah. So you see, uh, said we have before, said we see here, you know, lah. But actually the highest mark is 19, yeah? And then we can only see more. Oh, but 19, not to be seen here. Lah. Okay, so next we look at the Vipinus and Chinese. Eh? The Vipinus and Chinese for the French over here, and the 19 is the very big here. So, okay, so 19, a uh, top student lah in this class. Okay, so even though, uh, if you just ask other student, who do you refer to, right? And the student answer, oh, this person. 19 will not be on top. But 19 is the highest between the centrality, meaning people from many different groups ask 19. Because 19 is known to be smart, lah, kan, right? So it's not that 19 is not teaching many people, but 19 is teaching a variety of them. So maybe if we smart, we already teach some other people, then this friend teach other friends. So 19 is actually doing a good job. So without between the centrality, we didn't we couldn't really find out that 19 is the actual super spreader initially here that he talks to many different classes within the student network to spread out the knowledge in this class. Okay. So 19 is a little okay. So okay lah. Uh, not too bad lah. Okay, so the uh, maybe teach within their group. So 17 and 24 teach within their groups, but 19 teach many. So this is what we find. So, uh, 35 also somehow referred to uh, even though the marks are quite low, so then we choose also a power with 35. Okay. So this is the timing. Uh, then uh, this is what we suggest to find the outline. We plot the regeneration based on what it means uh, from the tutor and friendship, then we just see this outline this side in order to detect who are the students that are the influencers. 
or the connected. Between this high definition and the and the connected slide. So, so the next page, so that was the French network, uh, the editor network, which I used to uh, model for commenting. But this is the work that I've done with a friend about network analysis on bacteria. I don't know much about bacteria, but what we did in this paper was um, basically uh, diversity, as I understand it, I need. Uh, Pusat, I. So they took a sample before the water was filtered and sample after the water was filtered. So they look at the microbiomes before and after, and then they compare. So this is a microbiome for before and microbiome for after, and we measure using modularity. So modularity is a non vibration algorithm. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this session, but it can be clustering. So this uh, is this is a pretty good paper which we published in French uh, But I want to talk about this because this came from my networking at this was my paper with uh, the Pisa here from UPM. So she had to listen to my course when I did data through networks, which I thought at Maybank. So suddenly she became influenced. She said, ah, okay, I can we can do this network stuff. And that was very attractive in the title. If you see, that was actually in the title because people from biology and medicine apparently say that that's how you get into good papers, they told me. So you need to have it in the title to be attractive, to be, you know, there's a lot of analysis in this paper, kind of. Okay, so uh, people kind of invited me to uh, Publish the paper with her and give her advice about that stuff. But I did present it when I in the social network at the event. So that's how I got to talk. So eventually, I guess I can say what did I get from this attachment when we're writing a policy book. I will do a QA paper a few years later. But um, the main point is you need to use your network to get some collaboration. And it will take a long time because you need to build trust. Uh, and I thought this to almost uh, find the team event in there, the Metallic Flying Session Group, and then to introduce them to identity. And it was from all over the world, I mean, from Philippines, Hong Kong, Singapore. And so. Okay, but what I thought there uh, is financial transaction that work. La. I saw them at the event. You should do this because now it's COVID, you have all the data. Right? The financial transaction network, if the notes are made by customers, and the links are the financial transaction payment, and the arrow is the direction of cash flow. Okay, so uh, C, for some reason, everybody transact money to C. Maybe uh, C sells uh, what it is. Yeah, <laughs> okay. uh, so B just some transaction with some money. All right, so this is the level of financial transaction which I suggest in the bank you should analyze uh, in order to. Determine which is the most important uh, for media industry or company in your network because Maybank is the largest bank in Malaysia and they have a lot of accounts. And if they are able to analyze your very big network, they can identify who is who has a high risk. So they can say this person, because just this person, you supply the chain to all the staff. Okay, so you go and take around scope again, so that I find because the supply chain network has been broken. So this is actually uh, what happened in Japan when they had to know. So the previous ICMS, I invited the Katayas, which they presented about this. They said when the tsunami hit Japan, it was one company that everybody transferred money to. This company, which I put money to by Toyota, Honda, whatever, this company, nobody knew what it was. When they did that, it was a screw company. Because all the car makers, the motor makers needed the screw for the company. This company got destroyed during the tsunami, so everybody gave money to this company because they needed screw. So this is actual case in Japan. So uh, that's why I said this in We need to save some of these uh, company. Uh, I don't know whether they did or not. That also is the NCI, I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I did. Good thanks to them. Uh, and like some of the data, I hope. 
that they tell people transferring money, but if you do, come back to me. Uh, we have a uh, stock market, which can be an indicator of um, the wellness of a company, you can say, right? Whether it goes up or down in the stock market. So we have the stock market, and we can get direct to the work of the stock market. So, okay, how to get that? Uh, on the very internal, you use correlation. You can get weighted network where you can threshold the correlation to uh, above a certain value. You can get to your point. Or another way, uh, which is actually the top of my PhD, you can use the transfer entropy to get a direct benefit. So, this one is a uh, topic of a different presentation if you like. But let's just say using time series, you can get like two causes to sort of call this range of causality. Okay, so. This, uh, this is the proceeding by This one is the paper by my student, Dylan Zuri, who I never met. But um, he wrote this paper uh, and he analyzed the financial services index during the COVID pandemic. And uh, interestingly, we saw that it blocked uh, insurance company. <laughs> so, insurance company got more and more important during the pandemic. So the size of the block is based on the DP, uh, the out DP in this case, meaning how many other companies that it causes. Because the direction of causality is from me, Samiza. So if I put Samiza to change, so I push you or something. Okay? So the larger your out DP is, the more important you are, because you are the cause in that network, right? So the block here, the insurance company, even after the test of Y also, it gets very Okay, so that's quite interesting. Okay, so basically, uh, to example of network science, uh, this is the definition of network science from Wikipedia many years ago. Uh, but I just wanted to say it's in the intersection of many different things. So, from Dako here and Dako here, the systematic is where I come from because when I take the pure mathematics class at UIE, they taught me the systematic. And in the American specialization from data science, statistics, social health from sociology, a lot of the centralities of sociology, actually centrality measures uh, and just a few and we can look at the data so this is but here and we shiny I was just traveling in the city tonight and the pure mathematician we talked about the right now so rather than the right now it's actually very important to see as a benchmark baseline graph with respect to actual application and then then the then the very best for example, the movie is called the experiment, but he's a sociologist and he wrote a paper about small world. So, how small world, uh, how you can be connected to another person just by six degrees. We've heard of the six degrees of separation. It's not the degree that I define here, but it's like six, uh, the shortest path length is six in terms of the network. Right? The degree in the colloquial word, six degree of separation, means that by six steps, meaning uh, if you're unfriend with you, you friend with somebody, you friend two, and then you're the president of the six. Okay? So that six degree can connect everybody in the world. Is the so, okay, so, and then uh, this, I think this is a paper uh, by the professor in the program, which is my Microsoft for people. And then this paper, this paper has been was the work of health science. And then Barabati is the person who gets all money. Uh, he has a lot of paper in science and nature. Barabati here. Uh, it's power and loss. So this paper is really interesting because they use the small world networks in their data set of uh, there was like a worm called Sea Elegance. And there's also the Hollywood actor network. From one IMDb. So the Hollywood actor network was where uh, two actors were connected if they acted in a movie together. Uh, so obviously, we want to do actual Malay movies. <laughs> so that's where the word movies come from. People are making online in here movies, actual paper movies, actual QR paper published about Malay movies. Okay. <laughs> okay so, and Small world, diversity, and genre diversity. Right. So, so this paper is 
people interested to find. Usually in fiscal, they want to find critical transition, which changes everything. So the critical transition in the eyes to work is controlled by the temperature. By a system, we usually try to find out what is the critical transition. So that also leads to other work. For example, by Sabri, uh, crisis, non crisis from the stock market price, uh, or by uh, flooding, flood, non flooding in using the water level and stream data. So that's why you need to find the critical transition in the complex system using whatever uh, data that you have. Lah. But need, lah, um, it's important to know and might be helpful. So, and I am, of course, the Complex System Society worldwide, uh, which is the Joe Price, is both, of course, and then as well, the Global Price Movement Competition. But also, uh, coming in from the Statistics here, uh, by uh, India, China, and Mexico. Uh, and here is the Joe Price Statistics from Canada, and uh, also he does uh, Spain Black. So, Spain Black is a generalization. Uh, so what I want to do is that um, he does a lot of simulation. Essentially, doesn't do much experiment and let much of it is other. He does simulation. So in this is his uh, Nobel Prize speech, which you can watch on YouTube. Uh, it's a snapshot from his Nobel Prize speech. He says that last year simulation, uh, he's worked on this problem more than so he considered that normal simulation may have the same cognitive value as actual experiment. Okay, so they are pushing to study properties that are not accessible experiments. So they hard your presentations, even though you don't go into the lab, pakai that uh, nice looking lab code or anything like that. But your simulations may be even more important than actual experiments because you may be able to go into places that they can. Okay. So that's what I wanted to highlight from his Nobel Prize speech. And I felt very happy because I also did this simulation for my PhD, which is uh, so there's a molecule assumed to be in the lattice, which is me, and then it can be up or down. It can be in two states, up or down. So I simulated up or down, and this is called the thinking model, the shape model. And it's the uh, paper I published with my supervisor. Okay. So in this case, and I also. Investigate transfer entropy, which I use uh, on the financial data. Okay, um, so that's about complex system. But if you are interested in studying networks, this is what I would advise you. Okay? So we wrote a paper, uh, we wrote a paper mostly about using network to analyze literature. Whatever field you are, use network to. You can use network to analyze literature. So, uh, this is a persistent homology, which is part of topological data analysis. We're going to talk about it today. Uh, but, uh, and, and it makes you stop, okay? Okay, uh, but I'm making very specific homology. So, what you might do is you might put the word persistent homology and certain variants of persistent homology in the Scopus database and you got all the paper published related to that, okay? And then, so this is a network visualization of. So if you, so it's applicable to any 
can do this. This is a, a very simple software to use. My undergraduate was sitting with two of them at the final year project. It's called Boss View. They didn't need any coding. It's based on another software called Gephi, which we actually use to play the nice pictures that I showed in my student's paper from before. Okay. So, so this is one level. You can uh, do literature, bibliometric uh, analysis using network. And also here, they can highlight which country your work is originating from, even though Sarangi, Alicia is not there yet. Okay, uh, but <laughs> hopefully, later on, we can get on the map, literally be on this map. Okay? And also, these are the main authors. Okay? The main author group. Paper, so you can see here Carlson, uh, Luz Brunner, uh, Chaza, right? uh, I use it inside my paper and it's like my friend, uh, Giovanni, uh, in the agenda, but quite separated because it comes from the network side. So it's self separated. So you can even put this inside who place and can, you can use this to find the research gap in your literature review, and it's probably a very good perspective for your PhD student. Uh, in fact, I see quite a few people at the ATM has used this tactic. Uh, Dr. Saifu Hafiza has a few students in that. Uh, me and uh, Dr. Nora were trying to get our students to actively publish uh, this. Okay, so this is my suggestion. Uh, okay. So I think uh, why are, so this is my supervisor. Your body does now follow our paper together. So these are students that follow uh, the paper together. Thank you for coming in 2019. Thank you for joining online in 2021. It's available on my YouTube channel for you watch. And thank you for the most recent one in 2023. Uh, here, uh, a lot of undergraduate for to come. So <laughs> but there were also people from Philippines came to this talk, to this, and then Gail Hans, they, he came to ICMS as well, uh, because of uh, this workshop, so from here and uh, uh, also uh, for starting to this talk. Uh, thank you, everyone. If you have any questions, you can ask. Is there a question? Why not use this community or this community measure that mm -hmm. compare, that is simply compare to me? With imagine like correlation. Okay, uh, that is a clone, but still there. In the world, it is mm. similar. Uh, oh, actually, uh, that is a big area of research. Let's do a question. Let's do a question. I don't know. We should ask Prof. Gapo for that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I think that's it. Actually, uh, Najwa, my student, is looking at the measuring the difference between the clustering. So if you want to measure the difference in the clustering, there is a measure called variation of information, which is based also on entropy, just for entropy information like that, uh, information theory. So we're looking into that as well. So that's one. Uh, but we did consider uh, using just correlation, but uh, visualization wise, it was the easiest to just to stack it up like that. But yeah, in the future, we can collaborate with it by We can do more analysis to see what we can find to combat it. And we're actually in an area of research, not for very networks. Thank you, Sabrina. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Mm,
memang itu lah isinya. Uh, but still, I just assume that the French is constant and just higher probability they would be together with it. Actually, obtaining the network is very difficult and I'm working uh, people from Jabal and Jabal and Jabal and actually have the uh, access to information and stuff. The contact tracing uh, that they do uh, is definitely not complicated. So you don't get the full information, you don't actually get the correct information, degree pun maybe, siapa yang rajin nak tulis saja lah. So we really need a uh, mathematician to sort of interpolate from the contact tracing data that we get and then maybe we really have some idea how we can interpolate that works from the data that we have. Because it's not perfect unless you actually have like pen, pen, can you know? And, and unless you simulate, that's actually um, people try to simulate it. I recommend you watch um, uh, Contagion, BBC uh, documentary by Hannah Fry, which she did before COVID. So I watched it after COVID and be like, you knew this before? So I'm uh, just kidding. Uh, you sorry, BBC. Uh, but um, yeah, there's a lot to be done there. That's why I uh, attended Dr. Uh, after's talk uh, in the chat, and I just yesterday to see what they have in line and how they want to integrate all of the data sets that we have. What the programming or vacation for what software they use? Uh, I use R mainly because I can ask them you know, a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, because, like, I can ask them you know, a lot of questions. Uh, but I don't know. Sometimes I use Python also. My students know I use Python. Uh, so R is I have Python as my program. Uh, use Gepi. Gepi is a Python coding just to visualize. So R for input. Do you do your own operating or is there any available package to simulate the application? Uh, actually, I found packages when I eat. It's very hard to understand in your hand. I simply type all the other stuff. Observation, but yeah, maybe we can do more and then 
exactly similar. Yeah, yeah. You can look more closely and then tune the parameter and give you more useful Okay. Um, I think that's all. Uh, so um, I would like to thank Dr. Fatima okay, for sharing an interesting and interesting talk. Okay, so hopefully um, everyone of us can benefit from this presentation. Okay, so next colloquium session will be held on 23rd June, okay, 2023. Okay, uh, in next two weeks by Professor Dr. Muhammad Salmi. Okay, so for face-to-face -face attendees here, okay, so we will, we have provided this interface outside. Okay, please welcome. Okay, so and everyone, thank you for uh, your attendance today. So if you have any further questions related to this topic, I personally ask Dr. Fatima. Okay,